some predictions and what we expect out of this Fnatic fifth win and final round. Are Fnatic going to win? <laughs> Is it going to be everybody beats everybody and Fnatic wins in the end? We'll find out they as we're going to drop one final time tonight onto Gilly Island. It was actually really fun watching Fnatic play the same time that the Fnatic League Legends team played their World Championship Grand Final. Uh, because Fnatic went 3-0 in ROS, and then they got 0-3 in World Championship. So it was just like, let's BM Fnatic's LOL team all day and raise up their ROS team. Uh, unfortunately, today, underperforming. Up until the last game, I think I really want to give them some credit for last game coming out all guns a-blazing. Uh, I guess pun intended at that point. Uh -huh. But... It still hasn't been enough for them to take a win. And I think if you're Fnatic, if you have that name brand recognition and you're hailing from a very strong region within SEA in the form of Thailand, you absolutely expect to pick up at least a couple of rounds here. And the fact that they haven't managed to do it has to be a disappointment. Yes. And uh, I mean, I feel like it's the patch change as well that's kind of... I want to blame it on the patch. I really do. But then every time I look at the patch, it's like, okay. Hey man, cha slowed. championship teams are patch resistant. Yes, but I, I also go like, okay, it's slowed down the game. This might not be what they're used to. Then I go, hang on. Uh, wait a second. This is a patch that should favor them. This is a patch that should be good for Pirate Team. Yeah. So like... Duh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I think there's really no other way to answer but that. And, well, let's take a look here as everyone gets dropped in. We see the circle actually centering somewhere between thermal power and logging center. But once again, some things stay the same. We have uh, our drops from Pirate Team back onto Observatory. They'll have to be making their way across the map again. And we're actually going to zoom in on NRX John here, like an AA at hero of a couple camps. games ago. Yeah. At the logging camps. When and nobody uh, dares to touch them for the time being. They're going to be pretty happy with the fact that they've got that fairly uncontested and right in the middle of the circle of play. And uh, everybody else just kind of looting around the sides of the river. It's going to be another one of those quiet SE game starts, uh, which is kind of what we expect. It's kind of what we always expect. But it, it's not always what happens. I mean, is it not what always happens? It Not last game. Kind of always happens. I don't know, man. Uh, anything's possible after seeing uh, Pirate Team and Baby pretty much square off, and it was all, it was all Roger. Yeah, uh, Roger sneaking at the very end there was pretty hilarious to watch. Okay, speaking of Baby, it looks like they actually lose a member pretty quickly there. Jackie actually spotted him out in the open off screen. Fnatic getting quite a few shots as well. They're actually trading back and forth. Oh my Aaron goodness! Let's falling. let's move over to the action. I want to see what's happening right now. Down to 58 pretty quickly. Uh, but we're actually keeping our eyes on Nara right now, the winners of the last game. Val was one of those last members standing, actually nearly uh, kind of got taken out early on, got healed up, but then came right back into it, and it was between him and Khaleesi that they were able to take the win. That was such a good spot, honestly, for, for a team like Nara. Uh, as I say it, Val gets dropped <laughs> down. Well, not going to be the hero this game. Uh, Nemesis good, comes out of nowhere. Good spot. Yeah. I was going to say good spot in the final part of last game where it was out in the open and they could kind of spray where they wanted to, but Nara just kind of gets invaded here, and now all of a sudden they find themselves with three <laughs> members. Of, kind of gets invaded. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> no, really. Like, in full invade. Full on invade. Looks like they're going to everybody get in the car. We're out of here. No, it's just Lin. <laughs> oh, well, Khaleesi's there as well, so they're going to be able to jump in the car and disengage if they want, but it seems like they're going to stick around and go for a play instead. They might want some revenge here as they go up to the top floor. Let's see if they can find anybody from number one. Looks like... Uh, and Sears actually going to be getting out of there for now. Circling round. Here comes Nemesis. Number one going very aggressive early in this game. Nara's close by. Someone else is rocking up. No, that's Vetta just coming in for reinforcements to make sure that Nemesis is A-OK -okay inside that little building. And he should be fine. Let's see why not. Now they're just doing what they can. I mean, they lost one player early, but that's no need to... And now I just lost one player early, but that's no need for them to lose all hope. You know, they can continue on as per normal. But they are being sniffed out quite a lot. It looks like number one are actually moving around into a series of cars. Not everybody in one big vehicle, just a lot of different cars, uh, trying to see if they can find out any more members. And I wonder if number one aren't really hunting Nara at this point, trying to take them out of the game before they become a potent threat later on. Potentially. Um, I mean, they could have—they could just be like, well, we, that's a free 40 points if we can execute this right, right? Because we already took down one of their players. It shouldn't be so difficult for us to eliminate the final three. Perhaps. Like, speculation again. 
Uh, but we'll see what they do later on. We've got NRX, they, you know, done looting their, their start of locking camps. So they're now moving down towards the low end of the houses. And look at how much respect teams pay them. I mean, rightfully so, right? It's NRX John 316. You have to give this team a lot of respect because they are just so damn good. And I think the impressive thing, though, is that the team that they actually kind of forced to back away was Fnatic. And this is their spot now. Nobody can take logging camps away from NRX because this is their territory. Yeah. They might move a little bit further in, too. Actually, they're between logging camps and thermal power. So during this, this time, if... Like, I mean, you can see, but the stream can't. I've been trying to <laughs> create, like, this crazy... Super weapon. Super weapon. Yeah, what I've, are I've, you I realize I can... So I've got a, a assault rifle in my hands. And I was like, I can attach this uh, flashlight. It didn't go on. I realized I was trying to put it on back to front. This is what happens if you take uh, okay. rules of survival weapon construction, literally. And you see, now I've got a, I've got an assault rifle with a flashlight on it. Real flashlight, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can get a red dot sign in there. I've got a scope. Can put another grenade launcher if I want. You're gonna have. Oh. <laughs> you're gonna have to show the class when we're done. No. Don't. Get the helmet on too. No. <laughs> We've gone there before. We don't need to go back to putting helmets on. Uh, in your case, I disagree. Well, now the light is stuck. I'm trying to dissemble it. Oh. All right, well, while you're doing that, we'll just watch <laughs> Fnatic rolling <laughs> around the back. What have you done now? No, don't worry. I'm okay. Uh -huh. I have, may or may not have hurt myself. I don't I'm know fine. if our set's going to be okay. No, I mean, our set's fantastic. This, this is must be so confusing to the viewers. This is a really lovely set that we have for the ROS. No, I really, it is really cool. We've got our own, our very own supply drop sitting right in the middle of it. Fortifications and everything. All right, so we're going to take a look at a couple more members of Baby. That's uh, going to be the winter. Actually moving on in towards Echo Valley. On the uh, bike. He's got to be careful, though. Hops off. Who's that close by? There's an Indonesian team, but I didn't get a catch of their game attacks. Turn around, Baby. Let me Give me a look. Well, if he peeks, might be in trouble. All right. Hey, it's AL. Oh, there they are. Okay. So, L. So I they're mean, dead. Norm <laughs> normally, I wouldn't be too worried about. They're gonna die. Yeah, I would be too. Uh, normally, I I wouldn't be too worried about the team that's posting up when there's people creeping up on them. But it is AL, and unfortunately, the one thing that has been really consistent about the series is AL have kind of not really been able to defend their fortifications. It really frustrates me because every season I come in and say, "This is the season that AL is gonna take it all. They're so strong. Look at them dominate the Indonesian qualifiers." And what the hell happened after qualifiers? <laughs> it's always after qualification that they just go, and we're done. <laughs> yeah. I, it's a little strange. I, I'm I mean, not really certain so why it's just consistently taking bad fights. They're so good domestically, though, and it yeah. just makes me really upset because it's such a good domestic team. Well, sometimes you just can't quite pass that threshold. Maybe we'll see LL, AL level up, but it doesn't appear to be happening in this series today. Uh, now, we're going to be taking a look at Itzio. They're doing the multi-car strat as well. See off screen, just just to the just left there. Sort of a grenade, yeah, red, red zone, zone explosion. <laughs> we've seen a squad get wiped by the red. That's zone true, uh, but you really got to be not paying attention. Yeah, we've seen a squad being wiped by one before, and it was hilarious because it was just bomb dropped on one, and then the team was like, "Oh, we'll come pick you up and dance around in circles." Bomb drops in the exact same spot. Team gets wiped. Cry. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the environment kills you. And uh, we've been sitting here for eight minutes, and nothing has happened except for the initial three kills. No? Nothing. Patience. Patience, fish. Mm, what am I waiting for? What are you waiting for? The 15-minute mark, as always. 15-minute mark, we'll get the early skirmishes, and then around um, 23 minutes, we get the big fight. Hey, finally, we got some shots, and it hits the car, and we're good. Yep. That's a sweet paint job on that truck. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice happy with Call Me. Call Me have actually had kind of a, a, a very nondescript sort of series. I, I remember talking about them quite a lot in the beginning of the series. We really kind of touched on them, but uh, as, as, you know, one of the potential standout teams from Indonesia, but they have definitely not been the one that's been keeping people's uh, eyes on them. It's really been all about NARA and WA Triple F. Hmm. Fair enough. It's rotating around still, call me. I mean, they're, they're the leading Indonesian team, right, when it comes to points. At, at this very moment, Excluding today's results, they're the leading team when it comes to points for Indonesia. And it's important because, again, last season only one team from Indonesia made it in. And bear in mind that we didn't have to use the exclusivity rule to bump a team into the competition. Every team that was in the top 15 was in the top 15. But let's say Indonesia's squads all finished bottom five of the entire tournament. 
the number one team will still go into the grand finals because there is a rule that allows the first place team from every single region to automatically get a spot in the grand final. So it's important to rack up these points against your fellow countrymen because it is going to come down to the wire and you want that guaranteed seed of per first place. You want to be the one representing your region in the grand finals, absolutely certain. And you obviously want to have more than just one team being yeah. able to represent, but in in... In the case of Indonesia, and you know today's results notwithstanding, it may not always be possible that you're not going to get as many. But you can start padding those scores. You can't really afford to really discriminate who you're going to be killing. You just need to be the last team standing. That is how ROS works. Now, Fnatic, they're going to hop out here. It looks like they're going to be a couple of them downed already. Call me making tracks in forward. It looks like we're in for a bit of a firefight between the houses. CT going to find a lot of members here. And he does get one down before getting taken down himself. And actually, he's not quite out there just yet. The aggression is very nice. So you see, look at how the team doesn't even go back to execute the dart until they down CT on top. They go, you know what? There's more players for us to deal with on top. Let's rush through. Let's push through the second staircase, force CT to take some action before going for the execute. And this is good prioritization from Call Me. They're definitely showing their chops here. But another disastrous oh, move here for Fnatic. Now, Maltep does come out. Let's see if Warwick can actually get a little bit back for his troubles. Yeah, they need to get up there because he's going to take so much damage being inside that Molotov. They need to try and get the revive. Not going to be enough. They lose one player because of it. Uh, Forex does get taken down though. So they'll lose one player for it. Uh, the revive should come through on the second and they'll be A-OK -okay as long as they get towards that second player. Jeff Pro just hiding behind a couple of barrels. <laughs> all right. So they managed to actually come out ahead pretty well there. Uh, call me doing solid in all honesty. Nice play up against Fnatic. And Fnatic <laughs> do not get first place as predicted. They get eliminated first. <laughs> wow. Now that... I actually didn't expect this to be their worst round. Mm. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, Fnatic not having a good day today. Oh. Back four. Oh, Nepta. Finding a little firefight with Nepta right on there. There's Delusion around the side as well. Oh, had a little bit of lag, but that's okay. We're right back, caught up to live. And we see it all happening. So now we're all of a sudden down to 50 teams left. And Fish, it's a little earlier than we probably expected yeah, once again. People finding each other near these loot spots. Oh, good Shibuya. shots. Sabuya just getting taken down. Lion going to try and give him cover. Aggressive. Oh. He gets down as he was in mid bunny hop. Look at how well Lion tracked him on that. And that is going to be the difference between life and death. Shibuya will be able to get rezzed up here. Delusion has to push out. The zones come through, but again, zone one not going to deal that much damage. Delusion doesn't know where he is. His teammates haven't given him information about where this final player is. There is a truck available, so he might just drive away. Goes for the run over first, doesn't get it. <laughs> Actually and misses the run over. Oh dear. Engages. Yep, now that's that's time to bail out. Did he come back? He's like, really? Really? Yeah, he's flirting, yeah. With, he's no. flirting with danger here. Nah, he's nah, done. Yeah, he, okay. he's, he's given, he sacked his team. He's like, well, aggressive. Aggressive was his team, by the way. So he's just going to sack him, let him die, and try and get some positional finish in the final map. Okay, well, there we go. So we're down to 48 members still as we get into that 13-minute mark on the map. And there's just been a lot of scattered fights, skirmishes. But this time, it's not just been the one team on one team. It's been multi-teams getting involved, multiple members, and just a lot of uh, positional errors from some of the weaker teams. And I, you got to think maybe this is this is kind of the strain of having those five games and really needing to rack up those points. You start making desperation plays, and they don't pay off. Yep. Um, very curious to see if that's going to be a continuous trend. Here, Pyra. That's a worrying one, maybe. It's a worrying trend. Only for the teams that get uh, downed. <laughs> I know, True. I had to sneak that in somewhere. Uh, uh, but very slow games. And that's what you expect from the Southeast Asian region. They're very slow. Get off the damn bikes! Come on! You just, you just look silly. You're in a war zone. Wait, again, you're going to focus on that, not the rubber hammer? Yes, get off the... I think he heard you. He rang the damn bell. <laughs> All right, so we didn't talk about how the circle is going to shrink down, um, but it looks like it's actually going to be in that area that's halfway between uh, the cliffs and Rust Bay. So interestingly enough, uh, within that, we might we have kind of a good chance that we're going to get either in urban or that more grassy area when it finally shrinks down. So don't know a lot just yet. You really don't like They're bikes. all on damn bicycles. Oh, well, this is uh, Fish's nightmare. Welcome. All of Baby. Baby's on bikes. Baby bikes. Did you know that was my uh, post-industrial band out of college? <laughs> you, made a, you made a band called Babies on Bikes. Uh-huh. We weren't very good. What do you think I played? Bass? No. Guitar? Close. 
Kita? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did it like for a day. I was like, I can't play this. It wasn't even my <laughs> guitar. Funny. Baby's on bikes, so that's funny. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Well, baby, we're on bikes, eh? so there's your, uh, your band yeah, name. You, you would have hated it, obviously. Yeah, because screw the bicycles. Get off the bad I, I, how, what, what is your opinion on babies in general, then? Because already, we already know one part of the equation. They're fine. Okay. <laughs> what about the, the team, baby? They're fine. Just the bikes. All right. Any team that touches a bike is barred. Well, <laughs> then let's move back into a team that is touching the vehicles that go yes, a little bit faster. Look at how much it's faster pirate this team. Is. Pirate team cruising around town inside their sports car, nitrous gas and all. They're doing a zoom, dude. That is real fast. Yeah. Like everybody's got guns out too. Like they're just they're just hoping for a moment to roll up against NRX. Oh, in a second. if they actually take a fight against NRX, this could be huge right here. They're gonna actually start dropping people out. So everybody bails out except for Roger. Oh, windows! windows. Out. No, go away, windows. Keep the windows closed. Stop the breach. All right, six nine is doing what he does best. He sits on top of the house here, tries to keep himself nice and hidden, and he just chucks grenades left, right, and That's center. That's one from NRX down there. Manson just got a single frag. Oh, okay, gets the scope out. Here we go. Jay Z and the hop, the bunnies. Let's see how we go. Ah. Roger. No, it's Rayong. Doesn't get topped though. Six nine needed to hit those shots, and that was a free shot there. Meanwhile, his teammate is going to burn alive while he is down, like an AA, going for a few shots. Oh man, he just keeps moving a little bit too left and right now. Roger does get taken down though. There's the knockdown. Like an AA goes down with him though. Yeah, it's kind of a big firefight. Roger will get finished off before anyone can get there. Looks like Jackie couldn't quite get there in time. So six nine might be the big difference maker. Meanwhile, we're going to turn our attention uh -oh. back towards the kiss over here. Number like one, this. finding born to kill and baby Borneo, but he's going to get flanked by Chim Chim. Where's the rest of number one? The kid's gonna try and drive away, but Fetta to the rescue! And he runs him right on <laughs> over, guns a blaze, and out goes Nemesis. What is going on down here? Everything is absolute Wait, chaos. what? AO killed him! AO just eliminated number one! Yeah, Black they turned it back around! What What just happened? AO just... <laughs> they tried to run over baby Borneo, but they had too much velocity, so they just went over his head. They didn't run him over. <laughs> they didn't knock him down. Oh my god, they did a Dukes of Hazard. Yeah! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and Ale just turn around and just shoot the sitting duck of a truck. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, well let's let's go back to things They've that make kind of sense. AL actually have done it though. They get a squad wipe and they don't finish close to second last. They're well, I actually mean, doing it. Fnatic were already gonna get the dubious honor of being the first last, yeah. But <laughs> alright, alright, okay. So AL actually having the best round of their series so far. Fnatic having the worst. Let's keep going with these things and see how it goes. Kakrot's gonna be sniffing in here, but he's gonna run into a nest of call me if he's not careful. Kakrot, Superman, Commander Sapu, hanging around the side. Here's Zoe as well, and uh, Trinkalichi, <laughs> just for a second. Yeah, uh, MJ slowly moving. Yeah, things have started to quiet down after uh, I mean, a lot of skirmishes your, on the you map. You get your early skirmishes now, so the calm before the 23-minute storm. Oh, yeah. That's where we're going to get our big fight and the finale of today's matches. 11 games we casted today. It's been a long one. Between the NA Cup and the SCA Regional Clash, for sure. Got a later start than we normally do, though. Used to be before the PDT time zone. Yeah, well, things uh, changed up. We had yeah, we had a little bit of a mix-up this morning with uh, Pacific Daylight still, Time, of course, being over. I still don't understand that, though. When it was in PDT, it was 5 o'clock PDT. Now it's 5 o'clock PST, but we somehow start two hours later. Oh, good shot. Ooh, Ooh hello, Triple X. Time. Yeah, Jeff Pro, he might be able to do it. Call me, have been having a, a ban around, to be honest. Yeah, so that time zone thing confuses me, because we used to start at 7 in the morning, Shanghai time, which is 5 o'clock Bro Broadcast, PDT. you mean. Yeah, yeah. The broadcast would start at 5 o'clock in, uh, yeah. sorry, uh, no, 7 no, o'clock in Shanghai. Yeah. Now it starts at 9 o'clock in Shanghai. Uh, wait, does it? Yeah, that's two hours different. Uh, oh. That's why I thought we came in late today for daylight saving, and I was like, oh, we get an extra hour. No, it's two hours. What's going on? It's yeah, a confusing I place. I, I don't have an answer it's for you. They're confusing there, uh, one. Matthew. <laughs> We're using real names. <laughs> I can't help it. I casted with Jake Spawn Tribulani for a year and <laughs> called him You realize Jake. she's not related to the character from Friends, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to check. <laughs> oh, boy. This is a uh, eleventh hour fish. I'm truly blessed. What eleventh hour? This is fourteenth hour. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't math anymore either. 
I even went for a run during the downtime between the two yeah. sets. Got a nice 30-minute run in. That was fun. Yeah, there you go, man. It was too cold outside, so I went to a treadmill. <laughs> Ooh, nice chicken grenade. No one Doesn't find there, anybody, but that, I mean, honestly, it was perfect. It was a good angle. throw. Good, yeah. good throw. If someone was in that one of the two corner windows, he would have got a, a kill or down it's, there it's at like, least. It's one of those things where, like, if, if you were in a competition for, like, you know, like, throwing accuracy, you'd get a gold medal for that. At least a silver. Now we, we I got a message from from Clown Nine Seth, uh, saying that was a very exciting game. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, Death Pro. Pro. He's gonna get knocked down here. Kakarot looking to run him over. Now he's knocked down. Kakarot not interested in actually finishing him off. But he said that the last map, map four, was a very exciting map. Yeah, Seth from uh, Cloud Nine. This is what the Southeast Asian region does. They're very good at the game. <laughs> you can watch a lot of things too from this. It's called tactical gameplay. When nothing happens, and then things happen, and nothing happens again. And then things ha that's your analysis, okay. Yes. That's good. <laughs> oh, nothing happens, then everything happens. Now, Rayong, he's actually going to find a few shots inside that house and um, actually get taken a little low himself. Nara, most of them are there. So, so he's lost all his teammates. I think NRX have been eliminated as well. This I will never team. count Pirate Team out when they only have one member remaining. Not after what Roger pulled off. Yeah, but but that's not NRX in the house. That's a... Uh, <laughs> that's a... Uh, and our warriors, I think. Yeah, there's a couple members of Nara around the backside as well. Oh no! Okay, so now you got to count out pirate. Oh, uh, they are unfortunately out of this one as the last man standing falls. 34 left in this game as we hit play zone four. We're gonna get closer and closer to the final countdown. 33 minutes, uh, and the play zone moves from a very urban area in towards a very open lane. We saw what happened last time. That was an absolute blessing for Nara. Speaking of, we're keeping an eye on them right now. On is fire. Unfortunately, Truck is a little bit lit up right now. Tina Pei was able to find a lot of damage onto them. However, Nara have been not shy of being oh, able to oh, swap oh, things out. No. Careful, though, oh, inside no. the warehouse. Oh, no, Delusion! Oh, he's going to try to take down as many members with him as possible, but unfortunately, that is not going to amount to anything. <laughs> Khaleesi living with next to no hit points. Doesn't even go down. Just one hit point left on Khaleesi. Um, they will kill Delusion, who was trying to hide inside, deep inside the center of the play zone. 22 minutes in. That play zone's going to move in 30 seconds here, Pyra. ECO is still in this one. BDS still in the game as well. But we have Fnatic falling, Pirate Team falling. Again, a lot of the Thai teams have fallen. We might not get a Thai victor for any of today's games. Well, I think if you've got to pin your money on one, it's going to be Itzio at this point because they've had a pretty quiet game. They've been, been able to successfully avoid a lot of these uh, Indonesian and uh, Philippine they teams. They just wiped the uh, squad as well. So coming into late game, already showing that, you know, pick up those kills. And out of all the Thai teams, rotating the final play zone is something that... ECO can do well. But we're also keeping an eye on Brand Sports right now because they're doing a, 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 you know, this kind of rove around patrol to try and see if they can pick anybody off on the outer edges of the circle who have to move pretty quickly as mm -hmm. soon as that tightens. And it's already tightening. So they're going in deeper towards the place and looking for picks. Nara uh -oh, are just inside Nara that compound. They don't have a new vehicle. They haven't been able to find anything now. Brand Sports, they don't realize that that's exactly where the rest of Nara is pinned down. Otherwise, they'd be making a run for it. Still just playing this one nice and cautious here, friend. They don't want their truck to take too much damage. Oh, here we go. They already got one down. Drive by. Here we go. It looks like multiple oh. trucks. They're actually going to be colliding right now. We've got ourselves a monster truck rally, it looks like. And Babyborn and the oh rest no. of the team. AL, they're actually popping on out. But that truck that's not on fire just yet. It looks like Pow Pow and the crew are still getting it done. I think AL are med-strapping. Black and Babyborn here are both down. Nara down to one player inside that area. So uh, AL do have someone med-strapping outside the zone for sure. Looking for a second place finish. Kakarot throwing... A little chicken grenade in. It's just in. Khaleesi. Doesn't get the kill, though. Oh, boy. Seldrin's now going to pop out. Looks like they're going to bail out of their vehicle. Let's see what Brandy Sports can do. The rest of this looks like Khaleesi, and I can't see the other member of Nara. Still a little bit low, but neither of them down. Kakarot going to have to be consistently healing, though, as he's outside that oh safe no. zone. And he's going to fall down. He took one too many shots and falls, but everyone from Nara is slowly getting knocked down outside the play zone as well. They could die to the play zone here. Tita Pagan going to be picked up by Pow Pow. Uh, maybe 90 gonna be killed here. Ooh, hello. All right, babies have actually last surprisingly long amount of time, but they're taking a lot of people out with them as they go, and everybody's starting to drop. All of a sudden, we're down to 14 players here. Pow Pow, Tina Pei, and Zeldrans all kind of clustering up. Oh no. Pow Pow's gonna get dropped. Oh no. Tina Pei taking quite a bit of damage as well. Jay Z still in this one, so Anorex didn't get eliminated earlier. They just made their way away from the compound after their fight against Pirate Team. Still a couple of players left alive in that squad. Zeldrans gets one of his players up, but unfortunately can't save the other. All right. 
Let's see. Three players Keep an eye on six still nine. alive. Yeah, I mean, they've really just mastered the art of survival and staying alive as long as possible. Even if they're not picking up all the teams, I don't think anyone's really been able to hit 6-9 very effectively this entire series. Wait for it. Eh, that's a little bit short, yeah, yeah, I just think. A bit. Just smoke grenades from Zeldrins. Ah, uh, I got you baited. And we very rarely use, see uh, smoke grenades being used for tactical purposes, so I like that Zeldrins using this, giving him a little bit of cover as he moves from cover to cover with his allies, getting in towards the next play zones. You have to improvise sometimes when there's not a lot of ample cover here as the final area in this rural spot of the map. 12 players left. Here comes Zeldrins. Like an AA is up there, Jay-Z as well, Chim Chim, just outside the zone. Twelve players still left on the map. It's going to be very explosive the moment they find wind of each other. Chim Chim! He's going to get chunked out. Zeldrin's doing a great job really picking up more for his team here. Bren uh, Brenny Sport's having a really good round. Still got one ally right behind him as well, so if they work this play zone nice. Uh, they'll be able to take this one. And I don't see any tie teams in the final zone here. None. It looks like we might not be having a, a tie team place at the top. It, so it comes down to either will it be 3-2 to Indonesia or the Philippines? That's the real question now. Like an AA. Another uh, hero of a previous round. Coming up against NRX John. And really, or excuse me, coming up uh, against, I believe it was... Which team was it that was actually 2v1? It's been a while now. Hmm... I don't remember. Yes, it was against uh, W A Triple F NRX. Yes, yeah. we were able to take down. No, that's correct. So yeah, he, like honestly, everybody in NRX John is a very, very potent threat. And you got to be careful with any of these guys. On it the was map. like an AA that got those kills as well. But we've seen a lot of their players being able to clutch before. Very strong team. And they still got three players alive, and he does kill Zoe here. All right. I think you got to put your left. money on NRX John at this point, you but there are still to. a few contenders. They've got majority of the people inside the circle. They know what Kikapagi is. He's right in front of um, like an AA, keeping him pinned down for the moment. Uh, a few other players rotating around. I believe you still have to keep Ren Esports in mind. Tina Pei and Zeldrin's going to try and move in now. All right, like here an we AA go. is in the front lines. Kikapagi, look at this Look at this flank, though. He can see Tina Pei, but he's not going out for the shot yet. But does he have enough damage? And Tina Pei, there we go. All of a sudden, downed and out, and Zeldrin's as well. All of the sudden... These members of NRX so there's two John. left. It's just Kikapagi. Let's see if we can go on to that one on two. 6-9 as well as Jay-Z. Still, oh, he got one! Oh, my goodness. Can Kikapagi actually do this? Can he make it happen for his team? This is for first place. Remember that the other surviving member is from AL. He's med stranding outside the zone. Kikapagi trying to do what he can for NR Warriors. NRX just had three members alive, and Kikapagi's going for this massive flank, trying to get around the other side. He's going outside the zone to do it. And NR Warriors have been keeping it so close this entire series right now. They won the first round, but have been unable to find one since then. If they can come out with another win, this cements their victory here. And it's down to the final Look two. Look at how patient Kikapagi is playing this. He is moving outside the zone. He's healing up every chance he gets. 6 9 kind of understands that he might be wrapping around. So he's throwing flashbangs wherever he can just to try and throw Kikapagi off. Try and make it seem like he knows exactly what he's trying to do. But he's got, look at this massive flank coming out here. He's got it behind 6 9 Oh my goodness, here comes Kikapagi. Can he finally find the finish and get the win yes, for he can. NR Warriors? 6 9 does not heal. see him coming. He has to heal first. And he's got him. He's got him down and it looks like it's nearly there one more shot is all he needs but 6-9 ekes away one more shot is all that's gonna be 6-9 he's gonna try and peek outside the window he got, he it! got it oh my goodness 6-9 coming up with the win nrx john will take it i cannot believe that he had the perfect flank but 6-9's perfect reactions actually gets him behind it oh it was so close actually a tie team picking up the win there because they almost eliminated each other and Shibuya with the med strat, it wasn't AL, it was Shibuya at the final minutes getting the med strat for one of the tight teams. But so close, Kiko Pagi with the innovative strategy. Just woke up in my underwear No liquor left on the shelf I should probably introduce myself You should have seen what I wore I 
had a cane and a party hat. I was the king of this hologram where there's no such thing as getting out of hand. Memories tend to just pop up. Drunk pre-meds and some rubber gloves. 5,000 people with designer drugs. Don't think I'll ever get enough. Don't think I'll ever